I'm Chap Bettis, author of The Disciple Making Parent, and this is my audio blog, where I read some of my blog posts in audio format for your convenience. Well, in today's episode, we're going to be thinking about asking questions to remind your children about family rules. I came across a cartoon recently that was a reminder of a helpful parenting strategy that I think reinforces biblical values. In that cartoon, a child comes to his grandfather asking for candy. His grandfather asks the boy, what is our rule? The boy dejectedly responds, no candy before dinner. (laughs) And then grandpa corrects him. That's grandma's rule. Grandpa's rule is to bring me a piece too. Well, I hope to make that my rule someday also. This illustrates a simple strategy. Respond to a request by asking the child to remember a family rule or principle, or ask a question to remind them about what they should be doing. For example, Mom, I'm hungry. Can I get some chips? What's our rule about snacks between meals? We only have fruit or carrots between meals. Okay, well, there's your answer. Would you like some slices of apple? Or, Dad... Do I have to go to bed now? What's your bedtime? 8 p.m. Well, it's 8 p.m., so you know the answer to that question. This technique can be used to encourage our children to be responsible without a direct command from us. It's just an easy way to provide a reminder. Hun, I noticed you left your toys in the yard after you played outside. What are you supposed to do with them when you're done playing? Put them away. That's right. Go do that right now. There are multiple benefits to asking questions like these. Number one, Jesus often used questions to teach and remind. Questions can sneak past our natural defenses and cause us to think more deeply. So one benefit is that Jesus often used questions to teach and remind. Number two, questions appeal to a higher authority. Mom and dad, in their calmer moments, have established rules that are there to bless the family and to give it order. Everything in the family, it's not up for grabs. In that moment, we're simply reminding our children. Mom and dad are not being capricious. So number two, questions appeal to a higher authority. Number three, this appeal to outside authority also inculcates more self-control in our children. It trains their conscience. They know what they're supposed to do in certain situations. Now, they may not do it, but they know what they're expected to do. So number three, this appeal to outside authority also inculcates more self-control in our children. Number four, it also forces mom and dad to come up with principles. Often anger in a family is the result of not establishing enough outside family principles. When a question comes up, Rather than acting randomly, mom or dad, you ought to think, what is the principle here? So asking questions forces mom and dad to come up with principles. Now, don't feel the need to ask questions all the time. There are certainly occasions for direct commands and corrections, and there are times for direct answers of yes or no or more information. But establishing family routines and rules and then reminding our children when they forget should be a frequent tool of every wise parent. Well, thank you for listening to the Disciple Making Parent audio blog. This material is found in our video course that's aimed at young parents. It's called Parenting with Confidence, and in it, we'll give you biblical foundations for your parenting so that you will leave it more confident than ever. You can find more information on our website or at parentingwithconfidencestudy.com. Thanks for listening.